Hi, this is Chris. I just wanted to show you some things that um, I recently ordered online. I've been thinking about doing a sewing journal and it'll probably be a while before I get around to it, but oh, here comes Buddy. But um, I couldn't help doing a little shopping and I found this really cute little vintage sewing case. It has a little it has a little rip on there. It, um, it's leather and this comes from uh, Piper Lily and Company on Etsy this is her buddy that's her name right there Piper Lily and what I really liked about it was this really cute little spool holder with the little tiny spools on it I haven't figured out yet how you undo it in order to get to change the spools but um, it has a little a thimble the little strap is broken on the thimble buddy you're in my light come on move away and um but look at these cute little um yarn winders uh oh now he's knocking things off the table so um i thought those are really cute i'd like to try to recreate those somehow and it has little buttons and some other little vintage thread spools in it I thought that was that was cute I don't know what went here it looks like scissors I can see the faint rust mark of the handle of scissors I'm not sure what what would have gone in there it's a pretty deep little pocket it's a little tiny crochet hook and a little um, I guess a needle for some sort of embroidery repair or or something I'm not sure I'll have to research that I thought that was cute and then I got this which I've cut open but I haven't pulled out yet it's a lot of and by a lot I mean a lot as in gathered together and a lot as in a whole bunch of stuff. So this is a lot of vintage sewing notions. So let's see what we have. Right here we have something tattered. Look at this. This is a, a silk, silk covering looks like a needle case. Of course I saw all these things online on the description but it, it's you know it's kind of hard to tell what everything is. Celebrated art needles made in Riddich, England. They look like the original needles. They have a little bit of corrosion on them. Celebrated sewing needles. It's made of paper, paper and cardboard and silk, and um, it's falling apart, so it's pretty old. Here's another one. This looks like a handmade one. It's hand-stitched. Look at that. Oh my goodness. A real old needle case made with felt pages, a little bit of wool oh and look at this some sort of a, a double edged pin that looks really old too, that looks like early 20th century and here we have more needles Oh, look at these tiny needles. When I um, was doing quilting, I took a um, fiber arts course in quilting. We use these tiny, tiny needles for quilting. They're really good for hand sewing small things. Household assortment. More needles. 
Now this looks pretty old. Madame Lloyd's Extra Heavy Stuck Darners. Superior quality and finish. And the Boss Silver Eye Sewing Needles. Ask for our Madame Lloyd Gold Eye Sewing Needles. Here's a nice dagger shaped needle. That looks like a leather needle. If it's got a wedge on it like that and a very sharp point, that's usually a leather needle for sti hand stitching leather. I love the graphics on that. Here's another bunch. I got these for the graphics, of course, not for the needles. Okay, some more of my orders came in. Put this open. Goody, some macaroni. And some polka dot tissue paper. Well, my camera or my software just froze up. Let's see if this will work. This is a little needle book. I can't quite tell if it's a really, it feels like, it could be a very thin leather or um, it's a leather embossed paper. It has a picture of a carnation on the front and it says needles right here. They're rather pale and it opens up into four pieces and I like it for the graphics and the um, image here the needle pack and that was from Wesh Eliza W-E-S-C-H hyphen E-L-I-Z-A Wesh Eliza on eBay. Next is another sewing notion.
This is a little tiny sewing case. It has um, Petty Point embroidery inset on the top. The outside feels like a thin leather. There's a little zipper. Yeah, made in Austria. That seems to be typical of um, these little things, these little leather cases. Has a little rip there. And this one is from also eBay. Virgo Dental Girl. So that's Virgo Dental Gal. That's what it is. Virgo Dental Gal. I'm surprised it didn't get smashed in just in that envelope without any padding. And then the last one. has plenty of padding. It's another sewing notion. This one is another sewing case shaped like a little suitcase has mom scratched in the side there. Handmade in Canada. Has a little snap. It opens up. Has some little spools. They're wooden. Painted black or stained black. Has a little tape measure in inches. Let's see if it has any advertising on it. Twenty four inch measure. Eight additional colors for emergency use. Lift this tab to unwind thread. And then here's a little package, never been opened. It has a needle threader, four buttons. That looks like it feels like it might be uh, pins. There's another tape measure with inches and centimeters. This is made in Hong Kong. This looks like it comes from another sewing kit, a different sewing kit. Did I say this one is from, uh, uh, also from eBay? This is Spider Basket. Oh, that was cute. I just I have ideas for these little things, but it may take me a while to get around to them, so I won't say exactly what it is I would like to make with them. Let's see if we can get this folded up again, sort of. So there's the little suitcase one. And the needle case and the little sewing basket. And here's the little one that I just showed earlier. And then the needles that I got. They fill up this entire box. So thanks for watching. That's my Etsy and eBay Sewing Notions haul. 
Have a great day crafting. Bye-bye.